Did you know a Sam Solik version 2.0 just came out? I'm just looking around. There's this kid named Lav Lifts, and he is on TikTok right now, kind of blowing up, popping off, if you will. He's been posted on Reddit everywhere, especially in the Sam Solik forum on Derek. More plates, more dates is subreddit. All of these weird things. Hey, which I see you guys reposting my content, so I appreciate you, even if it is hateful. But I thought this individual was extremely interesting because he's 20 years old, claims natural, and his progression from one year to the next, literally one year of progression, is almost indescribably good. Now, as a coach for myself and working with hundreds of different athletes, someone who generally understands genetic variability in response to certain things, I find this really, really interesting. So here we have lav lifts, and I hope this video can boost him a little bit more because the dude has an absolutely sick physique, and I, I give it to him, like, entirely. This physique is a profound gift, man. This is a great, great physique. So I hope he gets everything that's coming towards him. But you can definitely see where he gets the whole old ego of the Sam Sulek 2.0, the long curly hair, the hats, the wife beaters, the disproportionately large physique to uh, everything and everyone around him. And it is really impressive. Like, honestly, his way of transformation is insane. But again, he completely completely claims natural, which I have a hard time believing this one. I do. I, I think there's a lot of people who respond really well to training and food and, and all of these things in general. This one's a bit unique. There's a lot of people commenting in his comment section saying, hey, bro, there's no way you're natural. When did you hop on the gear? Because what we're going to look at here is him literally a year ago. And I'm talking a, a straight up year ago, like almost 12 months to this date. Now, don't get me wrong. He's still big. Like he's still a big dude at this point, but he's nowhere near as big nor as lean as he was in those first videos that I had showed you guys. Something about this timeline, again, it posted almost exactly 12 months ago is insane. I can't really establish a baseline where a natural individual could grow this much over that short of a time horizon. Again, working with many athletes, it's typically a very unreal response to see something like this without drugs. And even with drugs, it is a completely rare thing. People can take testosterone and other variations of testosterone and still get a really good effect, but nothing near as rapid as this effect. Again, we have footage from about over a year ago. I think you just clipped the same shit and reposted it. But my point still stands is the progression in is insane. Now, the dude has a great physique, no doubt. Like, I'm not claiming he's not natural because his physique is great. I'm claiming he's not natural probably because of the fucking insane rates of growth that he's had. Now, he does say in the comment sections, and this is the, honestly the one thing that he has going for him, which would make me believe that he's natural. We kind of know that the more stout you are, shorter and generally thicker, um, you appear a lot bigger just because of the muscle insertions and things of this nature. And honestly, this is the one variation here that would make me believe he is natural because being a shorter guy, which he is 5'5 five, five and 153 pounds, does really lend him the benefit of the doubt because as a shorter guy, it's very easy to put on muscle. If you think about this, and yes, I'm going to use Microsoft Paint to illustrate what I'm trying to talk about. But if you think about this, let's just take the bicep. We have one strand of the bicep here over a long arm. Here you have your shoulder, here you have your elbow. Now that bicep is going to be stretched out further from one end point to the other on a taller individual or someone with longer humerus. The humerus is the bone right here, essentially, on your upper arm. Now, if we take someone that has a shorter bicep, again, shoulder to elbow, their bicep can still have the same amount of muscle tissue, but it's less spanding. So it doesn't go over as much of a length, meaning it's less stretched out. Now, when we contract a bicep or in any muscle, what happens is the actin and myosin filaments, they begin to kind of come together, right? They overlap. And what you get as an end result is a muscle that's bigger, visually bigger. The cross-sectional area increases because you have a muscle like this, and then it slowly comes together like this, folding on top of each other, and you create a bigger muscle. Now, when I flex my bicep, it gets bigger. When you flex your bicep, it gets bigger. When a short person flexes their bicep, I'm 6'2 for reference, the bicep has less distance to travel, 
meaning that it's already pretty stacked up on top of each other. It's rounder for lack of a better term. And then when they flex, it gets even more round, which is leading itself to look a lot bigger. That was probably the most bro science thing you'll ever hear from this channel, but hopefully it helps you understand why shorter, more stout individuals generally have rounder muscles, even at a much lighter weight. I could be 250 pounds, which I'm 238 at the moment, and not look anything like this individual. And we also have a lot of people asking him what he's doing for training. And to be honest, similar to Sam Selleck, I think a lot of this is genetically driven. Training doesn't truly matter at the end of the day. And I know a lot of people really hate when I say that, especially natural kids hate when I say that. But at the end of the day, the variables that are going to make the needle move the most, literally, are the foods you're consuming and the gear that you're taking. Gear meaning anabolics. And this is an unfortunate reality and also why we see such a wide variability of training methodologies working for generally most people because you can train really hard but do it differently than everybody else in the sense of high volume low volume intensity techniques training splits all of this stuff but as long as you're consistent with your dietary intake you're very consistent with your supplementation and super supplementation you're going to get 95 percent of your results and especially with someone who's genetically gifted like the fam we have here it's going to be really easy to put on muscle especially again on a disproportionately shorter physique so short Short Kings unite, I guess, right? Look, I'm uh, I'm all cool. I'm good with being, you know, six foot two. I'd rather take that to be fair. So we have someone who's 20 years old and made an exceptional amount of progress over a year span of time, like exceptional amount of progress. But understandably, he's very short and weighs only 150 pounds. Is he natural? Is he telling the truth? To be honest, the likelihood is pretty high when you're that short. A lot of muscle just bounds up really quickly and it is going to make your physique look a lot bigger than someone who is generally normal height. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, dude. You're not like a short guy. Well, you kind of actually are. I've, I've got to be honest. You, you're actually a very short guy. And so your muscles are going to get bound up and interwound that's even the appropriate terminology to explain this situation much faster than someone like myself. And I'm not using this as an excuse for my smallness. I've talked about this before on many different videos, which you can go back and view. But there is a lot to be said about that height leading him to look a lot drastically bigger. And I also covered this other individual on my channel not too long ago who is kind of in the same boat. He has really short forearms, like abnormally short forearms. He actually has a rare bone disease that limits the growth of his bones. And because of this, homie has an insane physique for his age and also claims natural. His physique is really good and his forearms are abnormally short. And so that muscle and his arms are shorter too. So his muscle, again, is really bound up. It's tight. It's stacked on top of each other really well. And when he flexes, it even becomes a greater stack where someone who is unfortunately longer limbed is their muscles are already really spread out and then they're going to have to get stronger and it's going to get bigger when they flex and it gets bigger as they get more muscle. Ultimately, it's never going to reach the point of this. It's the same equation you have when you look at somebody like Sean Clarita or Derek Lunsford and their muscle composition. For example, we have Antoine Vaillant, who is a relatively larger bodybuilder. He's extremely tall and you can see he's an absolute absolutely massive human being. There's no doubt about this. He's a huge bodybuilder. But when you look at the fullness of his arms and specifically like his extremities, not his core or his chest or his back, they look great. But when compared to someone who is much shorter, like Derek Lunsford, much shorter, he has a lot fuller looks to his muscles. He looks more, honestly, bigger. His biceps are rounder, and generally, this isn't even a good example because he's not the best in the arms. But anyways, that's about it. We just have a new Sam Selleck that doesn't post the content of Sam Selleck. He did just start a YouTube, though. So if you're interested, go check him out. Do your thing. But uh, is he natural? I'd have to give it to him. Probably natural. To me, it's a little bit suspect. The growth and rates of his potential are insane. In this case, because he is a shorter guy and he is relatively young still and probably new to training, he is definitely, probably, allegedly natural. Allegedly. I don't know. Count me wrong on this one. We'll see in like half a year, probably six months, eight months. Something will come out, I'm sure. Oh, by the way, if you haven't already, subscribe and like this video. Send it to your friends who are also short kings if they want some good news for their day. I need a lot of help growing this channel and it literally takes everybody watching these videos to help me do that. But otherwise, have a beautiful day.